good. It is weird still just starting live just immediately. Um, I am still setting stuff up in case that was not really obvious. I feel like it's pretty obvious that I'm still setting stuff up. But good morning, y'all, if you're just getting up, of which I am I am of that case. Um, there you go. But yeah, um, how's it going if you've already been up? This is the morning stream. And I'm just going to try to get my lighting and everything set up really fast. There we go. That's one thing. This is going to be a very like chill reaction. I also didn't have time to make a bingo card, which is like the biggest deal. But I do have some predictions. I don't know if I'll have time to really like talk too much about them, but honestly, the um the what is the word for it i have a list on gg app that is basically the uh like games that don't have a release date yet like watching without windows or like 2022 release window games and i think we're gonna see a good amount of those in there um i feel like we'll see at least one critically acclaimed indie enter the scene from this year from ideally this year maybe you know a little bit older i'm not really sure what to expect from all that. What's up, Creator Gaming? Thanks for stopping by. What all other things are left? Use a little window into the setup here. Cause I'm like, we don't need much. So you do the zoom, you got the, all that stuff going. The captions are already going. Let's see. I do need to get a new robot to tweet out the stream. Cause I don't have that. Hold on. Oop, we're gonna hear myself twice. No, okay, no, I already muted Twitch, great. Hey, hope to see Metroid 4 today. What's up, Needs? Look, the gang's all here. Um, we're not going to see Metroid 4 today, in case you missed it. <laughs> Obviously, jokes, but um, it's about 20 minutes. It's going to start in about one minute. Um, this is like the most aggressive going live tweet I've put out. I just said live now, get in here. I'm just chaotically tweeting that out real fast. Um, and then likewise, if I go to... I'm also like... When there's no sound on here, I'm always like, what's going on with that? Yeah. Hey, new sub alert. Let me know if it was too loud or too quiet, but thank you for the sub. Um, Shogun has, again, let me know if it's like way too loud or way too quiet because I um, made that new. See, is it, I feel like the sound is not on. We're gonna, we're gonna double check, but I think the sound's on. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. It's very much on. All right, let me know if the um, the stream is too loud or too quiet. I'm going to try to have it, you know, be in the kind of mid-yellow. Hello, and welcome to Indie World. I'm well, I'm Rico. up here. And My I'm voice Amber. is up here. We're back today to showcase a slew of indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Our indie partners span the globe, from Sweden Great. to Australia and Japan. And we can't wait to see what they've been cooking up. So let's get started. Cooking up? Overcooked? No, Overcooked is already on Switch. Uh, be that's, no, oh, oop, ooblets, oh my god. Is this game finally for real outdone? I have this already on Xbox, so I don't think I'm gonna buy it on Switch necessarily. And I played a bit of it, but I'm like, mm, I'm gonna come back when it's have more time to sort of bake. Yeah, I feel like I've... They look like they've done a lot in this game, to this game, which makes sense. They've been, you know, working away at it for a long time. Ooblets. Literally, I first heard of this game. Like, this game was announced before Don't I started my career in games media. And weird? Oh, I absolutely do. This charming creature collection and farm simulation game from Glumberland has everything to give you the warm fuzzies. Grow and train adorable little Jenin, creatures what's up? called ooblets as you cultivate new life in the blossom. Yeah, it probably would be. Badgetown. Customize your character. On Game Pass. I'm surprised it wasn't a Game Pass game. Decorate well, it's early house. access still, so I don't know. Run your own shop. And most importantly, have epic dance battles. You can even dress up your ooblet pals and travel Honestly, to different locations. Oh my god, roller skates. Visit the arcade packed boardwalk. You know, development's forward. a long, Soldier arduous process, but it kind of, of like 
and messes with my mind that there are Frozen people watching this who are pizza. like, this game looks cute. I've never Google. heard of it before. Because like I've lived on to Nintendo in my Switch in this game in my mind summer. for so many years. So is that the is this how I find Colorful out about the official launch of Ooblets at a Nintendo Direct? In this fast-paced action RPG across the cosmos. Let me know if they already said they were like going to be officially done. Because I feel like game by Stormind Games. That You'll wasn't official until right now. To interact with others and conquer the challenges ahead. Balancing the duality of your physical and mental powers is key. It did not have a date. It had summer. Sacrifice one for the other against opponents and. Things might not this looks fine, well but it's you. not me. Ultimately, it's not a Team 17, though. Your conscience will carry the weight of your decisions. What kind of hero uh, well, will you become? It's the sh indie showcase. So you could argue it's not a direct, but it's in the direct Locked format. You know. Switch I haven't heard of a release fall. before, but I don't follow this close. I literally am signed up for their Konnichiwa. newsletters, Namatakashi. and I don't think I saw this. The for context where the theme was flow, I drew inspiration from some of my favorite games. After graduation, I want to turn it into a full game. Gotta go with the Nintendo Direct voice. The basic rules and mechanics are simple, but intuitive. Giving you that satisfying aha moment over and over. I hope you'll have a good time playing on Nintendo Switch. On point with the live captions. I was so busy reading that, I actually didn't even process what he was saying. This looks cool, I'm down for this. Y'all know I love platformers, and there, the genre doesn't get a lot of stuff in it. And I like the puzzle element. I love platformers, I love puzzle platformers. And look at how cute this guy is. Look at him. seems like calm, it seems thoughtful. Did you like Celeste? I love Celeste, yep. How do you say this though, Alec head? Hey, if you're looking for a clever and challenging 2D puzzle platformer, then we've got just the game for you from Nama Takahashi, a one person development team. Here, you're a small robot named Alec, who's on a mission to restore light to the world while navigating a booby trapped facility. By using your electrifying powers to touch walls, floors, platforms, and switches. No, I missed VVV. Electricity will charge through them and bring them to life. V -V -V. Hey, don't get ahead of yourself. Oh, God. <laughs> Actually, you should. Detach and throw your head to trigger objects. You'll need to retrieve it within 10 seconds or else. I don't know how there they managed to pull off of those really cheesy lines not sounding like discover. totally awful. So use your head, literally. Looks cool, not a great name, no. Every nook and cranny of the facility. Alec head bolts on it, it is Alec head. Switch this summer. Okay, so summer, summer stacked over here. We got Alec head, we got Oolitz. Who is this? We're dropping. That's we have adventure time, the look of it. In a way. Obviously not, not like one to one, but that was the first vibe I got. Fight to the beat. Okay. This is kind of um, evocative of, um, oh my gosh, what was that Zelda game where it was like, what was the name of the game? Not Hyrule Beats, that's not the name, but it kind of reminds me of that. It obviously seems a lot more freeform because that was like, Necro Dancer, come to Necro Dancer, thank you. Cadence of Hyrule, Cadence of Hyrule is actually, yes, that is the name of the, the fact that they had the Zelda element in there. Very Diablo style or Torchlight, Soundfall. Feel the beat in Soundfall. Wow. Fast paced rhythm this sounds way different than the trailer music. Cake and drastic games combines looter shooter action with musical gameplay that'll keep you on your toes. And tapping your toes as a guardian of harmony. I'd be down to try this. The world of I don't know if it's like my kind of, of gameplay. Move to the music we don't close with Silk Song. Oh. To four players locally or online Never feel that way. Restore harmony These kind of um, music action layers. games, they don't really do it for me. Levels and encounters are yeah, I just don't think I like... From the music. And there are this sounds weird, but most action games from that kind of perspective. From. So pick the tune you want to hear before jumping into the fray. Time your actions to the music and your I do like the title track up top. There's a lot of elements here that I think are cool and stylish. 
over 500 pieces of equipment for skill customization, and thousands of loot combinations, giving you enjoy opportunities loot. for multiple playthroughs. Thanks as well. It looks fun. Later today. I love a later today. Launching Nintendo Directs Nintendo are Switch famous for the later today. Later today. <sighs> Why is it freezing in here? You better be ready to weather the snowstorm in Wild Frost. Take on the harsh elements in this tactical roguelike deck builder from Dead Ooh. Can Games. No thanks. Build and customize your deck as <laughs> Y'all who know my game taste, tactical roguelike frog. deck builder is not really up my alley. I still want to try this though. Disposal. I want to like card Using games. I'm just wave dumb, after wave you know? of monsters <laughs> from the deceptively cute penguins to brash and brutal bosses. Me too, Zay. Plan your next move using the dynamic counter system and fell those frosty fiends. I got into indies very late. I got into indies in like 2013. Expand the hub town of Snowdwell to unlock. I love the town expansion though too. Um, for your fight against the perpetual wind. Rogue Legacy 2 has a town building Wild element as well. I like town building in games Nintendo like this. Switch this holiday. This holiday, okay. Hey, I'm Hanna, and I'm Rebecca. Rebecca. We're from Lampful Games, a small game studio based in okay. Sweden. And we are excited to announce that our game, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, or TAPS for short, will be coming to Nintendo Switch. We first started working on TAPS in 2016. The idea was to make a game that is inspired by the feeling you get when playing with your action figures as a kid. We then added the strategy off and, on and the... fighting elements and turned the game into the wobbly experience that it is today. Our wonderful community has been with us along the way and helped us shape the game with their suggestions and feedback. So together with them, we're proud to bring Taz to this awesome platform. I hate when the captions are just delayed on here. They're already not very good, but... I just don't want to refresh the stream for the sake of, the, of trying to get the captions to line up. The art's cute. It kind of has like that dreams look to it with the art, actually. And I think something about like the um, the animations too has a certain vibe to it. I do love tabs. I might be going to switch. Oh, I didn't actually. Uh, wasn't familiar with tabs, Max. Well, that rhythm game is the same devs as Altos Odyssey, which is one of my favorite mobile games. Cool. Wobble, wobble. Wait, I do like what? the wobble. You heard that right. In this fighting game from Landfall Games, you'll lead teams of oh, John, thanks for the follow. 100 wobblers in battle, hailing from ancient lands. I like the wobble. Spooky worlds and this is already game pass. Good shout out, Tuckus. Those wobbly physics are uh, very uh, wobbly. Oh, they're awesome. And Have you tried it? Is it good? Variety battles either. Watch your this has been on early access for a few years on Steam. Battles. Or make new ones in the unit creator and customize their size, weight, and speed. Among See, now I'm the steps. person who's like, oh, I haven't seen this ever. And it's like, this is out. This is this has existed. Can't get enough of the wobble? Send them to fight your friends in online multiplayer mayhem. If you like goofy battle sims, it's fun. Say it with me. It's I don't know if I do. Time. You never cease to amaze me. Totally accurate battle simulator. Wobbles. It's way onto Nintendo Switch this summer. They're really the wobble is honestly the pinnacle of the game, it looks like. Like this art. Look at his Gato Roboto. Yeah, Gato Roboto hit. I actually didn't play that much, but like I, I know of Gato Roboto. The publisher of Omnibus. A noir punk action adventure. Mm, maybe. I like the art a lot. You know, I have a good foreground background. Definitely would at least try. Would at least try it. Interested in trying it. Tabs has, was the, what? Gunbrella. I was not expecting it to be called Gunbrella. Woodsman, Even though you do have a gun umbrella. Revenge in this noir punk action adventure from Doinksaw. Armed with the titular Gumbrella, you'll maneuver through Looks like a revolver game, right? It does! The revolver is starting to get kind of a... Junkyard fortress. 
use the umbrella to glide. A bit of a look swing, to it, right? Dash, it's weird to look at have a lot of different art styles, but yeah. Enemies, Devolver makes sense for this. Combat. But Along also, way, you'll scavenge for Devolver, I think they go for it, but they don't the always, umbrella. you know, and land. But who who does always land, right? If you're like a publisher, come on. Increasingly bizarre characters in a world rapidly losing its natural resources. And that's just the beginning of your investigation. Plenty of dark twists and turns lie ahead. Gumbrella launches okay. on Nintendo Switch next year. 2023. I'll have to um, add in some of the stuff. Hey everyone, I'm Jared Huntley. Oh, lead we are OFK. Let's go. We are OFK. And I'm Luca LaFay, lead singer of the band OFK. We're super excited to announce that our music biopic game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Yes! Ooh, I can play it on a tour bus. Ugh, I can't wait to tour together. We haven't seen each other since that music video brainstorm at your place in LA in 2019? Yeah, wow, wow. And with the game on handheld, it'll be easy to play the new episodes that are coming out every single week, back to back to back. Can't wait to share okay, OFK's okay, story. Andrew has never missed if you do his count. Hey, Jared, can I get your opinion on uh, tour They've outfits? had some other, I think, like uh, games. I'm in the debt for gun brawl. I'm really passionate about guns. Is it audio? Yeah, it's um, it's like the captions are delayed. They're often delayed. Um, and then play Jason. Is anything amazing announced? Um, I wouldn't say any like super like headliners have been announced yet, but. I've been like down for all the games that have kind of been talked about. Yeah, like um, I also have been missing on on the Annapurna stuff lately. I like the art. Yeah, we are okay. Um, I know this game because I think it's been talked about a lot, like at PlayStation. So that's on my radar. Seems cool. I'm down for it. I'm excited this for it. It comes up later this year. From indie pop band I don't remember if it has a, I don't think it has a date though. Take you on quite it does not have a date. So maybe it gets a date today. Set in downtown Los Angeles. Like head is the headline. <laughs> struggles to establish herself in LA's ruthless music scene while managing a full-time job, a social life, and a brutal commute. But a chance encounter with a right You know what? Let me just see if I refresh producer, it. Is it the worst thing in the world? May give her the edge she needs to achieve her dream. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Episodes released weekly and interactive music. Uh, it still didn't help. Fully voice cast. Well, you'll witness the lives I of Sumi and her friends unfold. You're allowed to take a break and not be okay for a second. Thank you. From yeah, sorry. I know delayed there, captions are annoying, but hey, just just mentally ignore them. Via text. It's a heartfelt making of the band journey. Good effort. Sure to pull <laughs> One clap. At your heartstrings. We are OFK. Drums on to Nintendo Switch this Okay, summer. they have a release window, just not a date. Hi, I'm Dom. And I'm Tom. And we're Spiral Circus. Sounds fun. We yeah, it seems an cool. We're games developer based in Bristol, UK. And our passion for the stranger and surreal side of art is what brought us together. We both come from really different backgrounds. I was a research scientist and Tom is a fine artist. Because of the pandemic, we've been an entirely remote team and almost all of Silt has been hand-drawn at night by me, which seems entirely appropriate for the subject matter. Our audio designer even set up a fish tank in his studio to record the underwater sounds that you'll be hearing throughout the game. We're really excited for you to experience our hand-drawn work brought to life. Mm. And we hope you enjoy exploring the strange oceanic world of Silt on Nintendo Switch. Take I like it. I like it. Dive into the harrowing ocean It's like um, Abzu meets in Inside, in the which I hate that I've said that, but <laughs> it, it is the vibe, or Limbo, I guess. Because Limbo was black and white, Inside was more like brooding. It's a real underwater realm filled with strange machinery, ancient yeah. ruins, and dangerous ocean inhabitants. A variety of sea creatures can be possessed. Harness their it's the It's the black and white era right presence. now navigate the haunting environment and survive encounters against deep sea goliaths i'm spyro catching strays in the chat meets the eye in this unsettling monochrome world plunge into the dark silt. waters of silt. also not a great Launching name either on nintendo switch next month okay oh yeah june is next month 
Oh, hey, fun! A way to Mini motorways. Traffic. Morning commutes can be a real jam. I, I enjoy this trip. game. I just don't well, think that I, know, I. Right? But guess what? In many motorways from developer Dinosaur Black and White Pop Games, Club, um, the key to solving the city's I'm not the biggest fan, but I, I get that it's you. a certain style, it's a vibe. Draw and build roads to create a bustling metropolis and keep. I don't know if it was on Game Pass. It's on Apple Arcade. By real life cities. As demands interchange, so it's an Apple Arcade, probably actually. Design and expand via it's upgrade, fun. I just wasn't very good at it. This is awesome, but it's already on iOS. Yeah, I think it's great on, especially an iPad. An iPad is the ideal place for this game. Unlock as you become a master road designer. But yeah, it's a good game. Great game. How long can you keep the cities of the world moving? Buckle up for mini motorways. It's a nice later today. To Nintendo Switch later today. Yeah, I tried the train uh, train management, and I felt so badly. Oh, a flying hospital. I like the bold That's outlines. New. I've never seen that before. Then hop aboard this heartfelt narrative adventure from Carry Ghost on Potter, my way set in 1970 rural Australia. As intrepid teen journalist Casey, you'll come to know a diverse cast of eclectic voiced characters <laughs> yes. through the stories they tell Same, and waiting the moments breakfast. you share. Each story <laughs> unfolds in real time, at the same time, so you get to choose Jason, which that's ones so you funny. want to experience. You're right. Follow the hospitals. It seems dangerous. Eavesdrop on them, or enter the room and be part of the conversation. Right. Darcy, right? Mrs. B's kid. It's um Casey, not um Casey, just Casey. Sure. By keeping track of information in your notebook and spending time with certain characters, you might unearth new stories, locations, and revelations. Mm. So I'm just like spying on people. Multiple playthroughs will also give you the opportunity to witness other events, allowing you to delve You're deeper into the there goes stories the and work together mysteries aboard the airship. <laughs> That's so funny. Wayward Strand lands on hey, Nintendo July Switch 21st. July 21st. Okay. That's cool. I'd like that one. A yes, Cult of the Lamb. World I'm excited for this one. Action adventure I have this also in my fantasy monster. critic in one of the leagues I'm in at least. Zest lamb saved by a foreboding stranger from a ritual sacrifice. I like what this game death. looks like. By it's adorable and satanic, and there's some worshiper. elements. Gather resources to build structures. Then look at these derpy little animations. Like the silk cradle. Venture through its dark depths, teeming with razor spiders and toxic millipedes to challenge the dungeon. Hopefully it's not too hard. That's my only thing. There ain't anything sheepish. I really hope we get it really safe. Available this year. Oh. Trots on to Nintendo Switch this year. Okay. That's probably going to happen, though. I don't think it's going to get, like, delayed or anything, so. That's with the Devolver... Uh, booth and they just said this year, yeah. Yeah, still still saying this year. I'm intrigued. It's like a Souls-like game where I'm a crab. Yeah, this is a this is a fucking Souls-like game where you're a fucking crab. Yes. Yeah, I'll try it at least. I'll try it. I'm laughing hard right now. It's really funny. Another crab's treasure <laughs> by Argo Crab or by Agro Crab. They're just all in on these crabs. Hey, crab fans. I'm Nick and I'm Kalen. Previously, Agro Crab released Going Under, and it didn't make us rich. So this time, we're selling out and giving the people what they want: crabs. Our second project is a crustacean. Oh my god! Another crab's treasure. Through our extensive research, you know what? I know some people like going under, for an and they've got natural yeah. weapons, can yeah. strafe from side to side, and you can hit their weak point for massive damage. Souls likes are known for their difficulty, and we want to create a game that maintains that challenge while being approachable for new fans of the genre. Okay. Ooh, what if you died in one hit when you're not wearing a shell? I just said it's supposed to be approachable. Oh, what if every time you dodge roll, there's like a one percent chance that you just trip and fall over? Well, it looks like our segment's over, everyone. It's, it's time, time for crab. crab. I do think that the actual video of oh, some of the shady cam dev things is delayed up. a little. Oh, here we the go. The captions are just off in general. Crab 
Wait, how are they making it approachable though? They never actually said they were too busy joking. From Agro Crab, you'll embark on an epic I'm down to try it. Um, to buy back your even though shells. I feel like going While under through this some of the comments I think I did hear was the combat being kind of a lot, right? You'll scavenge for trash and use it as a shell to defend yourself in challenging combat. It's secret. Any coach has this game of the year. So get shellfish with them and repel. I at least want to try it. Um you know? Magic. Why wouldn't you? If you don't, you'll be in a pinch before you know it. After all, one crab's trash. The question is, is though, I mean, that, that's a really hard genre to pull off, I feel like. Stephanie, I mean, you. Next year. Is there multiplayer? You know? Is there messages from other people in the world? For our last segment, because it doesn't have to be like literally. Like show you, a sneak peek of you know, more Elden Ring. Coming to Nintendo Switch. Enjoy. Okay. I'll take some sneak peeks. Oh, I forgot what that game was. I think I know that one. Uh, I think that one was maybe Card Shark. I don't know. Which I thought we'd see Card Shark through today. I'm glad to make a bingo card. I would have been wrong for almost everything. I know what that game is. One Shot World. Yo, I've been playing this on freaking. This is on like itch.io, I think. Or am I tripping? I feel like I've played that game before. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I haven't. Giving Beyond the Trees. Swinging's fun. That, oh, that that character model looks very really familiar. Idol manager. I don't think I'm that interested. Oh, like oh, idol like music idols. Maybe. Yeah, they did have card truck there. Mm -hmm. Free demo later today. Okay. To be honest, I don't think you've ever played. <laughs> Why are you like this so early in the morning? Curse to golf. This is already out. Yeah. I'm just coming to switch. Or am I tripping? Is it not out yet? Crystal Golf. A guidebook of Babel. I don't know what this is, but it seems cool. Seriously, Eddie's always on. <laughs> because I had to come in on my day off at 4 a.m. That's not good. Opus Echo of something. Cute. More. That's no, okay. all for today's Indie World. We hope you enjoyed the slew of games in today's showcase. A big thank you to our indie community and indie partners working on games for Nintendo Switch. And as always, thank you for watching. Check out our and a special Twitter thanks to you. To stay up to date you know what? I think I will check out Indie, indie World, indie World NA. Until next time, happy gaming. I don't think I'm actually. No, I am following them. Cool. All right, y'all. Well, that was the showcase. Um, let's take a couple of minutes here to chat about it. Oh, they just put the whole thing in there. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, there you go. That was the showcase. The last game is releasing later today. Ooh, that's a good question. I don't think so. The last game shown. The last official game shown was the crab one, so I don't think so. I think there's only been like two, maybe three later todays from the showcase. There was mini motorways, like one of the, oh, the montage, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, gosh, what was the montage game? It was like 10 seconds ago, but. Oh yeah, it is, you're right, you're right, good catch. That isn't available, so maybe they had like four available later todays. Opus Echo of Star Song Full Bloom Edition. So that, that kind of implies that this game has been out before. Um, I'm not familiar with it, but let me know. It's just so hard to be familiar with everything. But yeah, Ooblets is one of the few games that I am very familiar with. I'm not saying we throw out the baby with the bathwater, but the thing is, you know, players get over folks. I'm kind of lying and dying. No Silk Song, but I felt uh, every single game looked great in different ways. Um, okay, I'll make the poll then because I think... I think Eddie's at work was the implication there. We'll call it an indie showcase. There we go. We do our classic letter grades. Do a five minute poll. Yeah, I overall, you know, I don't want to skew. Oh, I forgot to put. Sorry, I forgot to put an F in there. But I feel like no one was going to use the F anyway. Which. Yeah, I, I don't know if any showcase has gotten enough. I still have to put it in there for like the sake of it, but I forgot that I could put another um, thing in there. 
They announced it yesterday, so I didn't have high expectations. F. F's in the chat. Yeah, if you want if you want to put an F, you gotta put the put in the chat. Um is Gunbrella just a sequel to one of these Star Wars Vision lightsaber episodes? Um, I feel like definitely many people there's been there's been Gunbrellas before, but not a Gunbrella like the Gunbrella Gunbrella. Um, yeah, I liked it. You know, people are leaning on B. I am inclined to say the same. It's kind of tough in these scenarios. I will say they didn't have the number one thing that I think was a flaw in this is they didn't have, yeah, Janet, you're saying F's in the chat, I am. Giving game was Quantum Arcade. Ooh, I didn't, see. So yeah, let me know which ones have already been, you know, mentioned or announced or whatever. Um, like, or out rather, which ones are ports versus which ones are releases. Um, what was it? Yeah, I liked a lot of what we saw here. I just don't think they had a headliner um, besides, as many people have joked about, a lek head, because it has the word head in it. But um, yeah, tabs have been out for a long time. So we got for ports, it's like tabs. Um, Ooblets to a degree, sort of. It's like hasn't really come out yet, but um, you know, many motorways, it was a good amount of ports, but I also think because, especially with it being like the indie scene, I feel like the ports are, and then it being the switch, I think as well, um, of having that like convenience and portability, um, ports are more exciting than they are in other showcases. I think too, like for me, I tend to, I think usually come out of these more satisfied because I feel like with the bigger showcases, there are times where there's not anything I like. And with indie ones, I always find something that I'm least interested in, even if the game doesn't end up being good. Um, so I think to let me look if this is already up. I'm guessing such hoping that Fanbyte has their everything at the um, indie showcase, preferably written by Imran, because that is always oh Keith, oh Keith wrote this one okay it's probably still really good um fanbyte has it's still the same format so i think it's it's pretty solid fanbyte has uh the best in my opinion the best recaps of all showcases if you ever want to look up a showcase recap i recommend searching fanbyte because they do a bullet pointed list of everything in chronological order and they add like a tiny bit of context but like not a whole lot which is good because i'm like i just want to know the information like i'm not looking for like anything other than that and even though there's pros and cons to this they like don't do a bunch of like embeds of trailers and stuff which again there are pros and cons to that but i'm like i like the cleanliness of that whole setup um yeah i actually kind of want to link this over hold on i'm gonna hide my screen real fast because i want to link something in slack and i figured it would open yeah it opened in the Bottom, why is my Slack still in light mode is the question. Give me a couple seconds here just to toss this into KFGD. Yeah, that's like, this is like my favorite recap. Um, okay, cool. Let me close this too. All right. see dev said their game sold better on switch wonder if it's still true do, 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 do. Ooh, what's a serial killer trait yeah i missed something um joe gives them all that until they announced oh uh, the akiba thing <laughs> dan did you try to poison me both times we hung out no i did not um i'm i'm scared before why you're asking hopefully you're feeling okay um Oh boy, I missed it. Yeah, you missed it. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna read through actually what was um, said during it as I kind of replay in the background. Yeah, I guess I'll leave this part in there. We'll see Wobbles another port, right? Okay, so, um, and let's talk about that too, like the ports versus not. And again, I think they can get away with more ports because of the platform, because of it being indies. Um, like as someone that stays pretty up to date on gaming, I feel like I still, didn't know. Let me look up this one shot world, by the way, because this looks so freaking familiar to me. I don't think it was called one shot world at the time, but I think it is called. I think I did play this. OK, I'm going to I'm going to look it up on itch. On the side, if you hear me typing, I apologize. Oh. Hold on, I got to I got to log into that as well and everything like pulls into okay no this one didn't pull into my um main screen 
Never want to reveal passwords on here. Not ideal. Oh, maybe my, I don't have it saved in my one password. So maybe it's just like a password I made a long time ago. Sorry, I know the screen's black right now. Oh, it didn't, it didn't work. Okay, well, I don't know. I guess I don't know my login offhand for itch. Oh, I thought I, that's very odd. Okay, we're gonna have to fix that later. Um, thank you for putting uh, points into the Yakuza goal. But yeah, most of y'all said B. I think I'm inclined to also go with B. Even though like the thing with the indie showcase is I never really know how good it was until later. Like how did those games actually fare? It would be fun to go back and like, review them after the fact almost, but that's like a lot of layers. Um, Scrap Treasure looked fun even though it's still, like, I hope there's like something there for that, like difficulty or something. Um, getting back to work, have fun discussing, uh, since there's no new Marvel show tonight, we should do a Doctor Strange discussion. That would be fun. Maybe not at midnight though, but that would be fun. Uh, Yaku oh, is Yakuza fully funded? <gasps> wow, this was the fastest you've, is it fully funded? No, it's halfway funded. Okay, okay. I was like, oh my gosh, is it already fully done? But it is ha it's halfway done. This is still on track to be the fastest that uh, y'all have funded a gameplay um, challenge. Granted, some I did put it like, not crazy lower, but I feel like one time I put like 150 and it was like way too many points to try to get for that game. Um, but yeah, it's half, okay. New Show Plus, go back and rate um, Nindy's based on how good the games were with you, Hanson, and Sarah. That would be fun. I should probably... Hey Siri, remind me to write down new show plus idea, go back and rate um, showcases based on how good the games actually were. Okay, add it to reminders. Thanks Siri, good umbrella. Um, but yeah, I think I played One Shot World. I mean, again, it's hard for me to remember if I played One Shot World. It looks super familiar. I'll, let, I'll tweet it out later or something if I did. I am actually like, 90% sure that I've played a little bit of this game for one of my charity streams. Anyway, um, but yeah, let's look, let's talk about the recap real fast before, you know, uh, we move on, I lay down and whatever have you. Umbrella, okay, cool. Oh, this game looks good. I think I'm most interested in Wild Frost, the card game they showed us with Peppermint Jelly. Yeah, let me know in the chat what your, um, what your number one is here. Uh, feel free to toss in an honorable mention if you'd like as well. Like what games caught your eye? Uh, I'll read down the list as again, the director just playing in the background at this point. So we have um, Ooblets is coming to Switch after being exclusive on PC and Xbox since it launched in 2020. Uh, it will be coming to summer. So maybe it already is fully out. I don't know. Ooblets was like a weird thing for me. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with Ooblets. Um, Batora Lost Haven is a story-driven action RPG by Stormind uh, coming to Switch this fall, which actually maybe, do I wanna do, let's do a rapid fire rewatch as I kind of let this go in the background. So again, we got Ooblets, previously exclusive. Now it's here, now it's out. Thank you for the follow, G Master X 96 Whatever this is right now looks cool as hell. If it was one before, fair. If it's this one, also fair. I would like to check out We Are OK. Me too. So this is Ooblets. Again, was exclusive. Now coming to piece, coming to Switch. Um, so they've done a lot. I guess it's out of early access. That was always kind of a lot to take in. Then we got, um, here we go. Uh, Batora Lost Haven. A uh, story-driven action RPG by Stormind that is coming this fall. I'll put in the chat too. Again, bookmark it, whatever, if you want to go back to it. Fan by it has the sauce for these recaps. Um, next up is one of my personal favorite. And again, Ooblets I like, but like it's, I got like a weird, I've been following it for so long. Like I just don't really know what I'm doing with that game. I'm like, it's a done, should I come back now? I don't know. Uh, this is probably one of my personal favorites, uh, puzzle platformer, Elect Head, a game developed by uh, Nama Takahashi. Coming to Switch, it is, its entire loop is based on your character attaching their head from their body to accomplish tasks, as well as, um, I think just, you know, this is me editorializing, playing with like, electricity and such, um, and is coming to Switch this summer. After that, we have, so I'll, I'll put that as like two games that I'm pretty interested in off the bat. Then we have, this one I probably would try, but I don't, I don't think it's like really a me game. Soundfall, a rhythm-based dungeon crawler, uh, bring you... Brings you action to the beat of over 140 songs. 
Uh, so it's basically Crypt of the Necro Dancer, but more anime. And this is in a later today joint. Um, next up, we have uh, one that was shout out in the chat. Oh, it's also co op. I like that. Uh, Wildfall. Sorry, not Wildfall. Win Wild Frost is a deck builder from Deadpan Games, all about trying to find a way to stop an endless winter and the monsters who thrive in its frigid cold. It will be on Switch this holiday. This is a nice holiday game, too. I like um, the kind of winter setting for it. I think that fits kind of nicely. Um, next up, this one confirmed port from y'all mentioning that's on Game Pass and it's on other things and has been out for like a while and early access on Steam. This is Totally Accurate Battle sim Simulator, a silly, wobbly battle simulator where you can create characters from different eras in the world's history and make them fight with the dexterity of a child's toy available on Switch this summer. Seems fun. I think I'd like to try this out on Game Pass now after the fact. I'm kind of hit or miss on funky physics. I'd be down. I've always wanted to try a card game. I may check out Wild Frost. Yeah, um, also uh, Married Gamer. G great name. If you're interested in card games, because I'm also like not, like I want to be a card game person in video games. It hasn't really happened for me yet. One that I really liked was that was very story driven and very, um, very simple, at least in my opinion. No shade if you end up feeling like it is hard um was signs of sojourner it is on game pass and it's just a wonderful um story driven kind of travely game where you're playing as a kid who inherits um a shop from i think their mom who passed away and you're kind of traveling to like collect wares for the store and the whole um shtick mechanically is that each conversation is a little card game and you're trying to like keep um like accord in the conversation so like if they meet you with like an emotional card you want to meet them with an emotional card so you're kind of trying to build a deck so there's a deck builder you're trying to build a deck that has enough cards to kind of handle any situation and some cards have like funky buffs and stuff like we're not buffs but like properties where oh this one will automatically like match any cards you put it to uh, and then as you go like you get fatigue and you get those like dud cards that could add to your deck and then you can get rid of your fatigue by um, petting a dog that you meet along the way very cute like spoiler for the game about the dog but um i really like that game and it is technically a card game and a deck building game but i feel like it's very basic so i enjoyed it as like a, a nice entry point into the genre i love science of great innovation in deck builders yeah science of the genre i think the reason I had to shut that out is because I think it is like very simple. And for me, as someone that also isn't that into like deck builders and card games, part of why I struggle with them is just that I find them kind of too hard sometimes or I'm, I don't, I'm not good enough at it. And it takes me a while to get good enough at it. So Sensor Journal was like totally up my alley for that reason. Okay, anyway, let's go back to our um, rapid fire. I fell, I fell behind off on our own rapid fire recap. So. We had this, and then we just watched this one like a second ago. Uh, but just to read it out really quick, this is Gunbrella that you're seeing, um, and this is a noir, a noir punk side-scrolling action game based on around the titular Gunbrella weapon, which can be used as a gun for combat or umbrella to glide. Coming to Switch later this year. I'm down for this one. It is also a Devolver digital joint, so I'll put that as three for games that I'm interested in. Um, next up. This is like weird because I'm interested, but like I'm already interested on PlayStation and I'm definitely gonna play this on PlayStation. We Are OFK made an appearance at the Nintendo Indie World Showcase. Again, this has been marketed many a times throughout the year. It's a musical adventure game coming to Switch episodically this summer. Oh, interesting. I didn't catch the episodic element. Um, again, I'm reading from Keith over at Fanbyte. That's interesting. I wonder, is it like that on all platforms? Like, shoot, I have to, I have to double check that. Is it like that everywhere? I'm like not that interested in episodic at this point in my life, I feel like. Let me know. Um, has it 80 on Metacritic? They talked about it on their showcase. Damn, I, I totally forgot that, uh, Play Jason. Thank you for the reminder. Yeah, I am I wish it wasn't um, a little bit, but hey, if it's good, it's good. In an episode a week, that's not that bad. Like, as long as I'm not waiting like months in between, you know, I, I can deal with it. Uh, I'll put that one on there, but. I was already like, you know what? I'm not gonna put it on there because I'm not gonna play it on Switch. Like I'm gonna play it on PlayStation. Um, this next one, I, and I'll play probably a couple of these games on play. Um, we'll, we'll lightly put it on there, but we'll say four. We'll sit, no, we'll, we'll leave it at three, but I'll put, I'll mention it, we are okay. This next game I'm really excited about. It's very up my alley. Um, 
to me it's like again it's like abzu meets limbo and i love that this is silt an underwater puzzle and exploration game um looks spooky especially if you're terrified of underwater stuff and it's coming to switch next month so i do like how early some of these release dates are i would be here for weekly but not multiple months yeah multiple months like as a life is strange fan i'm like episodic just sends me through a spiral <laughs> No, a lot of times I just played them all at once. Like, I just would wait, you know? Um, okay. So then we have, um, next up, again, our rapid fire recap. We have, um, it's not that rapid fire, though. It's kind of like medium fire. Mini Motorways. This is a city slash road builder game um, about handling congestion in cities by creating roadmaps in the midst of city citizens just to try to drive around and live their lives. Available on Switch later today. This is also an Apple Arcade, and I do think it's, it's best on an iPad. Um, but I'm still down for it to be there because there are some people that just really don't want a game on mobile. Um, and if you're that person, I think Mini Motorways on Switch is a great spot for it. Uh, now we have uh, Carry On My Wayward Strand. Uh, Wayward Strand. This is a narrative game from Ghost Pattern about a teen journalist who seeks out stories in a hospital. All these stories play out in real time, so you have to manage your time to see everything. Um, and they did talk about multiple playthroughs kind of being beneficial for i think seeing more of the game and it comes out july 21st i really like this game i love the hard um art style in terms of like the um harsh like lining of the assets like the thick black lining i think that's very cool i like the sort of managing stuff i feel like it's going to really immerse me in the world and also i like that play jason mentioned um that everyone would die in this hospital because it's floating in the sky and it's a, a bad setup for a hospital um well that means wait for a game of the year bundle um yeah so uh, that's that one so that's five for me and then again honorable mention shout out because i also will probably play this on playstation or not on playstation because it's close to the lamb i feel like that was on, on xbox only as an exclusive let's see oh no it's coming to everything okay yeah yeah hold on i'm dumb because i literally mentioned cult of the lamb on PS I Love You like all the time. So yeah, this is a multi-platform game. Um, Cult of the Lamb, I'm looking forward to. Um, again, I'm not gonna put that on my list of things from this showcase necessarily because I'm gonna play it on PlayStation for sure. Uh, this is, uh, again, reading from Kenneth. I like blind on Kenneth's name for a second. Cult of the Lamb um, was a game, this is Kenneth's words, not mine, it was a game I heard nothing but staggeringly positive things about at PAX East to the point where I didn't even get to play this game myself because so many people were lined up to play it and the show floor was limited because there weren't enough demos. <laughs> it's coming to Switch later this year. That's a funny write-up. Um, but yeah, this is a, um, just to kind of add some additional flavor, um, a game where you like lead a, I think you're like leading a cult and you're trying to like be the one true cult so you have all these different cultists and it has like sim elements as well um and like the combat is uh kind of action oriented so yeah and look there's like cooking st mechanics and stuff like it seems like it has a lot going on you could sacrifice right in the beginning yes so you're dead then i guess right right all right um next up we have this funky thing it's a crab. It's a Souls-like crab game. Souls-like another crab's treasure. I'll put that in there because why not? Is uh, bringing the weighty, difficult action gameplay of Souls-like to more approachable places while getting rid of all the nasty beasties you'd expect to find in FromSoft. It's coming to Switch in 2023. It's a shells-like. Look at this little guy. Again, this seems really ambitious in that nailing down this combat is pretty challenging. I'd say, um, you know, things that like draw on souls like combat like um death's door i think had amazing combat tunic i think the combat was like the worst part of the game by a wide margin in my opinion um so i'll be interested to see like will this be able to really pull off that combat um also i love this person's sweater the mobile sweater i think it's super cute actually both of their sweaters are really cute um yeah and they made um down under before and they were like, that didn't, you know, sell an insane amount. So we still need to make money and this is our new game. Um, and look, they put little, little, they got little hands. Same here. They're funny too. Um, yep, you're a sacrificial lamb. Cute. Uh, and then finally we closed out with a, that classic montage. The montage. Let's see. 
it'll probably play around here. Uh, lastly, it was a montage of several indie games coming to Switch that didn't get their own segment. This included One Shot World Machine Edition in the summer, Gibbon Beyond Trees, available today, uh, which needs to point out, is it already on Apple Arcade? Idol Manager, August 25th, Card Shark with a demo available today, Curse to Golf, Summer, a guidebook to Babel, comes out in the fall, and Opus Echo of Star Song Full Bloom Edition, available today. What a long game name. Uh, but yeah, that's the whole thing. So I think in all five games I'm looking forward to and two that I'm looking forward to, but I'm going to play them on um, other platforms, uh, PlayStation. So for me, those games are a Leckhead. Um, did I put Wasp Frost in there? I don't think there's a Gunbrella. Um, oh, okay, actually, Ooblets, a Leckhead, Gunbrella, um, Silt, Wayward Strand, um, another Crab's Treasure. Maybe I'll have to bring that down to five, because Ooblets, I'm not really... I'm kind of mixed on my excitement for Ooblets at this point. Uh, AC Games uh, 2022, thank you for the follow. And then honorable mention to We Are OFK um, and Cult of the Lamb, because I um, will play those on other platforms. And then honorable honorable mention to Mini Motorways, because I played that game on Apple Arcade, and it's a good game. I really like the other two on Switch. Opus is something I'm hyped for. Oh, interesting. I had not really heard of that game. Well, that Opus game is the third in the series. Opus was released September 1st on PC, it looks like. Okay, so that one's also a port. So yeah, as far as not ports, I think the only things that aren't ports are... I think Batora is new. Elekhead, Soundfall, Wild Frost, Gunbrella. We are okay because it's not port, you know, it's not out yet, so I don't think it counts as a port. Silt, Wayward Strand, Cult of the Lamb, and actually a good amount more ports, I think. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, if you happen to know offhand if any of the games I just named were ports. I think the ports are um, Ooblets, Gunbrella. Um, oh, Elekhead's already on Steam. Really? Why did I not hear about this? When did this game come out? Did it come out this year? Let me look, let me look up Elekhead now. What? So Elekhead came out and no one told me. It came out this year? No one told me. I feel like no one told me about Elekhead. Obviously, I have to listen more because... That's wild. I'll do a quick, um, maybe search if I can make the time for it before KFGD to, uh, see what's up with, was it as if there are enough games? I know. See what's up with what, you know, what's supported and what is it. Um, but yeah, y'all, that was, um, the showcase, you know, did you like it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? Oh, there's literally no one that I have, that I personally have, that I follow that's live right now. So uh, we'll just do our closeout and then uh, kind of end it there. Uh, before I do end the stream, I want to um, mention that I am streaming next on Friday. And hold on. Actually, hold. On. I have my schedule here. Let me like, we can get all fancy. Um because I'm on here. I don't like that I just pulled these up immediately, <laughs> but whatever. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, that's so close. Why is that so close? There we go. Um, I like it a lot. Thanks for putting up the stream and watching with us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so these are the games that I am playing this week. Uh, I'm going to try to be putting these schedules up on my Twitter every week and also i am posting i'm doing a new thing on patreon where for any of my patrons so as low as a dollar all the way up to as much as you want to give i am doing like these weekly schedules where i write out like here's all the content that i'm appearing on um and even some stuff that i'm not appearing on like behind the scenes stuff so if you're interested in keeping up with my content i think it's a great place for it um twitter of course has the you know I'm, i post a lot on there so if there's additional updates but if I hit there as well. Um, but I am doing Loot River and Citizen Sleeper. Um, so that's exciting. Those are two Game Pass games that came out this year. And um, they're getting some little bit of a little bit of hype, a little bit of love. So yeah, we'll see how what those are about. And then on Saturday, I'm doing more trophy hunting in Horizon Forbidden West. And I think we're really gonna focus on like grinding for parts to like upgrade our armor so that'll be fun um but yeah so stay tuned for that uh Lou River looks cool yeah let's let's find out together and then lastly i do want to give a thanks to all of you you know following subs moderators and of course my sponsors over on patreon 
You too can join over on patreon.com slash gamehonestness with rewards as low as the $1 all the way up to the $25 tier. Like my sponsors, I'm talking about Business with Davey, Black Clumberjack, Edwin Garcia, Jesse Clark, folks like Kevin Fair, Margarita Castillo, Mick, aka The Nanobiologist, Avery Sin, and Nina McKee, Platform Fanatic, Play Adjacent, Reynolton, and Spencer Icasiano. Thank y'all so much for helping me do what I do when I do what I do. Like I said, normally I do a raid, but I don't have any um, friends and pals live right now. So again, I'll see you guys Friday and Saturday at 3 p.m. PT for my next streams. Um, and if you are a fan of Kind of Funny, uh, check out the show today at 10 a.m. I am co-hosting alongside Greg. Greg is lead host. I am his co-chair. And it's going to be a fun time. We'll talk even more about the Direct and all the other gaming news that came out this morning. Uh, and as always, I will see y'all here next time. Bye.